but they they seem like good people. They they were helping out with the wagon problem earlier today, so they uh-huh. seem like the type of people who would help. But he kind of looks over to uh, Kessler <coughs> and uh, makes you know a sort of hand signal. And uh, most of the merchants leave as uh, Kessler starts actually playing a tune on her uh, in, uh, one of her instruments, a flute. Ah, oh, goody. A doot. Yeah, a doot indeed. And uh, it, it doots and it doots. And all you can see is locals left in the tavern. The flute of fear. Never this dooting. I mean, oh, he's a slip. You probably had felt slip. No, you 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 probably heard it. It goes through the entire tavern. Just thin walls. Can he use this these thin walls to his advantage and listen in? Not into any conversation, but you can hear the the flute. Damn. There goes my plan. I mean it's not I that thin walls and it's the distance mostly and they're not they're not shouting if you know what I mean. What do you mean? I'll, I'll remain around until someone picks the boy up. Just treat him. Okay. Well, uh, anyway, so we can talk more privately now. Uh, the verses. So, care to. So uh, it's, uh, go ahead. So, it, uh, Jackie and uh, Hogan are still there, right? Uh, yeah. What the fuck happened to the dwarf? He's he's, he's still yeah. he fell asleep he's in the bath. He's gotta be the best marinated dwarf ever. <laughs> no one's even <laughs> checked on him. He could have drowned like an hour ago. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. He's, he's, he's half liquid, and that liquid is alcohol. He's very buoyant. There's still a towel on his face, if we recall. Oh, that's true. You're we're waterboarding him. Wow. <laughs> yep. Oops. No, he's waterboarding himself because he's not conscious to resist. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he, he is, he's chilling, slash, uh, almost pretending he isn't, he isn't existing. <sighs> but yeah, so you're gonna, you're gonna introduce them, or I'd rather um, so... actually tell them what we want, or what we would need. The hot need for blood never ends. I'm sure you two have seen that this town's kind of in a bit of disarray right now. Uh, <laughs> we're kind of... We've kind of been hired to take care of this problem with the slavers going around. Mm. Hired, quote-unquote. Approached. Approached. Mm-hmm. Approach. Uh, Up and uh, Dova kind of taps the uh, table a bit faster. Uh, approached and and trusted. You can trust me. She like smiles and like a little like a little like ping comes off of her teeth. Like totally no, Cling. but. <laughs> But um if you should install the flashlight into her face. Uh you see uh the locals kinda seem to listening to the conversation. Uh but uh nobody seems to mind it. Like it's not they don't look at you weird or anything, they just sit there intently listening. So, as our um, friend Arian here said, we have a slaver problem. 
they came to our town seven and a half seven and a half god damn it I can't talk seven, seven and a half months ago uh, it was after the war they came became more of a bandit group than and slavers than mercenaries even as mercenaries they were disgusting human beings if they're even all humans I don't care they are they're an evil bunch uh, <coughs> Foga continues kind of <laughs> ranting piss I mean, not Foga for Dora kind of ranting pissed off and eventually kind of gets his senses and says we need some help badly we uh, help of what? You... we need to get rid of them oh. yeah. We need to get rid of these mercenaries. Uh, they're they have too much control over this of this town. They have uh, influenced the, the noble who owns this land to not interfere, and uh, it's oh. just a mess. Like uh, you know, you have maybe, maybe haven't seen as many locals here. Well, it's because most of them didn't live inside the town. They lived outside, in farms and or lumberjack house lumberjacks. Houses, yeah, there have been slaves, people on the road, uh. refugees, slaves, uh, people on official assignment by the local noble, enslaved, uh, and that's somebody I care about. So does Kessler. Uh, we need help. What exactly do you have planned? Uh, what I have planned is a coup. We need to kill their leader. He's not as innocent and young as he looks. He's called Tarin One Eye and he's in my age, but looks just a strap in his you when he points at uh, Hagen. Hagen just looks confused, like, what? Me? What? I mean, no. I, uh, your age. Do he doesn't believe it, <laughs> but he'll accept it for the um, compliment anyway. Uh, it might not look like it, but... Uh, so, once... A very long time ago, we were adventurers like you. People who wanted to, you know, a change or something good. Help people. But the war kind of forced us to settle down. And uh, the village we kind of tried to help and create here is now sit stuck in internal kind of root just because of this mercenaries take basically all tribute and all tax that should have been going to, to the Lord. I don't know how they pay him so he, don't, so he doesn't notice. But our money doesn't go to our Lord, which we do in fact like. Um, so, and the traders here, and just the fact they can't leave, the works have to do so. Have to be something behind it. Mm. Uh, well, more, we're willing to help. Uh, yeah. He's he's looking more and more desperate, and you know he runs on and off, and is as as I'm as incoherent as I'm sounding, basically. You know, we, we understand the, the very dire need for some help. That said, we're not we're not just some hired thugs. You know, there there has to be another way to uh, to take care of this without just open bloodshed. Well they move they have sold most of the slaves and moved moved them into uh, the tavern somewhere. I don't know where. It happened all in one night. I don't know how he how uh, they managed to sell all the slaves so fast, sell most of the slaves so fast. Uh, it's quite worrying, actually. So, so some they have they do have something planned. They must have. I don't see why they wouldn't get rid of all almost all slaves at the same time.
Uh, as for our plan, oh, we have considered many. It's just looking pretty dire. There are more than 22 mercenaries in the village constantly. And uh, as sad as it is to say, I'm not uh, in my prime anymore. And I don't think I can take an open fight with him. Our numbers are too few and uh, they're a bit too strapping maybe. As for avoiding bloodshed, that would be preferred. But uh, the only way we see doing that is uh, getting an actual... Um, like an actual knight platoon sent out by the noble. But they would never listen to us. Hmm. What? Just Hogan looks to Jake. Would they listen to us? I don't know. Do you have some sort of authority? Well, you yeah. fought a dragon, so I would say you're rather formidable. Right. Yeah, but um, no. But, 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 but I'm thinking here. Uh, since mm -hmm. Jackie's a noble and all that, uh, should she be able to, you know, just tell the noble about what's happening? Her words ought to be, you know, proper, right? Yeah, I mean, I, sh I should at least be able to get in to see him. Do we know where the noble even resides? In Senif Keep. Sentil Keep, my bad. Oh man, that's forever away. Where is it? Sentil Keep. Keep. It's the, uh, by the Moon Sea on the east. And it's it's 216 oh, miles I away. I see it. If we sent someone out on horseback, uh, how many days would that be there and back? I mean, I say horseback. Uh, with the road, it would go 50% faster, so it would go 36 miles a day instead of 24. So it would still take uh, uh, 246 times divided by 36. Six days. Boy, howdy. So yeah, six days. Oh. On horseback days. Your horses still need yeah. to rest. What about flying? What about... Flying. Just would it be faster? Yeah, yeah, you still would need to rest, but you wouldn't have to think of the... I mean, it would go double the speed, I guess. So well, three just, with the knowledge that Jackie is a noble, could she not write a letter that we could send? I could. Even sure, if there's yeah, no yeah. means in the city, I mean, I could call down a bird. Yeah, we can try that. Just send him a strongly worded letter. <laughs> <laughs> But then to... we would have to take into account... Dear asshole. <laughs> but how long... Good boy, stop being a it... jerk. But how long would it take for them to mobilize? That's that's another question. It could be uh, weeks before they arrive. If we wait and don't do it right now. I suppose there's no harm in in sending one. Yeah, just out of character. If you do this, I would like you to like create a note. You don't have to actually write a letter, but create a note that you guys have sent a letter. Basically, is what I want you to do. So you have uh, in your notes, if you have any. Feel free to use the uh, bag of holding document for you know notes. The way I see it, though, once the knights arrive, they'll probably just keep the slaves hidden, and we'll never find out where they took them. Well, the idea before you lot showed up was to confront Varwin in some way. It's just Aaron 